So anyway, welcome back to the channel for the one and the only review gamer. So anyway guys, the Spider-Man No Way Home with Tear Trailer finally dropped after months and months of waiting. So anyway, I've decided to do a reaction video to Spider-Man No Way Home. The brand new Marvel movie set inside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, so I am actually... Before the release date of the Blu-ray and DVD of uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, I will be watching um, all three Tom McGuire films made by Sam Raimi. So Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 3. I'm watching both, both of the Mark Webb movies, which includes The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, including the two previous John Watts, uh, Spider-Man movies, which is part of the, why well, I officially calling it, the Spider-Man Home Trilogy. For including, but not limited to, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Spider-Man Far From Home. I will actually be including Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, into this lineup, considering I think that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse might actually work really good within the, um, multiverse that Marvel is doing with both uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse as Madness as well as in uh, WandaVision. So let's get into reaction for Spider-Man No Way Home. Alright, Peter, MJ, Ooh, hoo, hoo. I got a copyright plan for the Spider Man trailer, so we... I'm sorry. Okay, we got one. Doctor Strange. I wonder if that's what to set up the multiverse. This Christmas. That reminds me of the 2016 uh, Doctor Strange movie. A little bit of 2004 Spider Man 2 reference. Infinity War. Ring Goblin. Doc Ock. Dr. Octopus. Played by the same actor, too. Spider Man No Will. <laughs> December 17th. Marvel Studios Columbia Pictures. And of course, they're throwing that PS5 reference. Why don't they? School same theaters too, well, huh? okay. So anyway, let's talk about the trailer. So anyway, the Green Goblin reference is really amazing if I do say so myself. It's to me it's actually feeling more like it's referencing more of the 
Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans than the Andrew Garfield Spider-Mans. So I kind of like wondering if, I mean we do know, we do have confirmation by either Marvel Entertainment and Sony Pictures that Electro, which is played by Jimmy Fox, is going back from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So kind of impressed about that. Um, I don't really think it's referencing Iron Man. I think this was as much as I like to think as the movies of the Spider-Man Home tr Trilogy is to me, I think with Spider-Man Homecoming, it was like more of a Spider-Man Iron Man relationship. While in Spider-Man Far From Home, which is the second uh, movie part of the Spider-Man Home Trilogy, it was like Nick Fury and Spider-Man. Whereas in this one, for uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, these were the references. No Way Home, maybe there's no way for the other villains to get home. Because if you think about it, in Spider-Man, there's always a reason for a Marvel name. Because Spider-Man Homecoming was about the Homecoming event surrounding Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, the reason they call it Spider-Man Far From Home... Because it took place around the different world that's far away from Peter's home in uh, New York City. And then maybe in Spider-Man No Way Home, maybe they're saying that there's no way to get home. I mean, there has to be a reason why they're calling it Spider-Man No Way Home. To round off the Spider-Man Home Trilogy. Speaking of which... I normal movies I'll be watching through the course of the release date. So right here I got 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 uh, movies. Most 23 of them are by the MCU. Um, so some of those I'll be watching includes the very first Spider-Man movie uh, starring Tom McGuire. I have a video update about my complete superhero collection, good Marvel and stuff. So here is Doc Ock's movie, Spider-Man 2. So Green Goblin is in this one. Doc Ock is in this one. Sandman and Venom was in Spider-Man 3, but I don't think Venom would be part of... Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Then we got the Amazing Spider-Man collection includes the Amazing Spider-Man the Amazing Spider-Man 2. They were just one-off copies. If you want to see the discard on these ones, I have a complete video series. Uh, I have like total of like four or five videos dedicated just to the MCU lineup. So we got phase one which includes Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America the First Avenger, and The Avengers. We got phase three which includes Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Captain America the Winter Soldier, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man. Phase 3 part which includes Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok. Then we have Phase 3 Part 2 which includes Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home. So it's really kind of weird that we're getting a new Spider-Man movie already. Uh, the last Spider-Man movie we got was back in 2019. Um, yeah. Spider-Man No Way Home. Already. So yeah, Spider-Man movie in 2017. 
2019, now we're getting one in 2021. Wait. Two. Actually, I said that would be about right. Because we do get one like every other year. Because I'm big. A Spider Man from this Sam, Ra Sam Raimi trilogy. Uh, we got 2002, 2004, and 2007. 2012, 2014, 2017, 2019. Yeah, I guess that would be about right. Um, never mind. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments, comment section down below. I want you guys think of the Spider Man No Way Home official teaser trailer released by Marvel Entertainment and Sony Pictures. So, anyway, they're going to say, I will give this trailer an, an, an A. Plus. Really outdone trailer, one of the best trailers I've ever seen in Marvel Cinemas. See you guys next time on the next episode of Rigby Gamer. Stay tight.